Hello, what's up guys, I'm Kyle from KGR, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Bring Arts Sora. Now, I was actually looking forward to this figure for quite some time now, and I've had it for quite a while, but I haven't done a review on it, so I apologize for that. But if you're new and you just came across this review, and I know you don't care, well, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get into the review. There are things I love, and there's things I hate about this figure. Overall, it's pretty solid. I freaking love it. But the flaws on it irritate the crap out of me. One flaw being the fact that the quality control on this figure isn't very great. Suppose I have a problem. Let's say that, I don't know, there's a, a miss paint over here, but normally paint issues are figure to figure bases anyway. But a problem with my figure is the fact that this head pops off super easily. Now, if you check out other reviews, they're not going to have this issue. This is just the issue with me. And that's something that I see across different reviewers. So fair warning, if yours is having a problem, then I'm sorry, it's going to be different from mine. But just because mine might have an issue, that doesn't mean yours is going to have it too. There's some flaws that I will mention that are going to be consistent with every figure. But with the head situation, that's just mine. But the paint job on this figure is mostly pretty solid. Besides some small little like markings right here, like on the sleeve, like some... I don't even know the word I'm thinking of right now, but you get what I mean. Sometimes there's some small paint flaws, but other than that, it's mostly pretty solid. I think I saw some reviews where people were complaining about the hands paint jobs, but so far mine seem to be okay. But some things I love is mainly the eyes and the necklace. I just love the way the eyes look. I love how they're painted. I love how blue and glossy they are. It just looks beautiful. But the thing I love about the necklace is the fact that it's actually sculpted onto the figure. Now, I have the regular Play Arts Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2. But unfortunately, I don't have the Play Arts Kai figure, so I can't compare those. But here with the regular Play Arts Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2, the chain necklace was an actual chain. Now, I love that attention to detail, trying to make it accurate. However, that thing got caught a lot when you turned the head, so it got very annoying very quick. So with this, they did sculpt it around the neck hole, so I love that so much. And I love the plaid detail on there as well. That looks absolutely beautiful. It's like the small things I'm gushing over. But anyway, yes, this is a absolutely beautiful looking figure. Now, the sculpt is mostly solid. There are a few problems with it. Like, like I said earlier about the neck issue with mine, but again, that's just the issue with my figure. It's probably not going to happen to you. But one thing that is going to be very consistent is here around the little waist area, his little crotch. Here, this piece, including his butt flaps, are very soft plastics. They can flex a little bit. While with the shorts, they are solid, so you know they're going to last. Sometimes, the way it's built, like the way this little joint is moved up here, sometimes you move it and it ends up getting caught. So that will get annoying very quickly. So of course you're going to have to adjust it, and it's honestly not hard to adjust, but it does get annoying very quickly. And there's something else I want to go over with some of the points of articulation, but let me go over all the articulation first, and then I'll get into it. Articulation-wise, this figure is pretty solid. Okay, I'm going to move the head. Okay, so we have a ball peg on top of here, as well as some type of movement. I don't know what type of peg it is, but there is some movement at the bottom of the neck, so you do have plenty of range. So you can see how well Sora's head moves. You can rock it side to side. You can move, make it go forward and back. You do have plenty to work with. The shoulders are okay too. You can go up pretty far and you can move them forward and back really well. But it's on a double ball system, kind of like some of the Figmas. However, it tries to move forward, but the way that this is sculpted, it doesn't let you go forward too much. So if you want to do a double wielding keyblade situation like him pointing it forward to unlock a keyhole or something, unfortunately, it's not going to help you all that much. But it's going to look a little bit awkward. So luckily you do have your move your arms up here and ah his head oh thank god it's back on okay so anyway so we got a bicep swivel under his sleeve and that is very very necessary if it didn't have that it would look stupid it'd be a stupid choice with the figure so anyway i'm happy that it's there the elbows as you can see it's only a 90 degree bend but the way i was hoping it would be would kind of be like the figma joints where even though it is a single point joint like it's not double jointed it's just one little thing right there I was hoping it would get a lot more range like the Figma joints do, because even though those are also single jointed, you can see how much range they do. It's like a realistic bend, same with the knees. So that is disappointing. Then we get to the wrists, and they're on a, I want to call it a ball hinge, but the way that this hinge is set up, I absolutely hate it. Now, look at this setup. 
I cannot stand this. If you pop it off, it's on a little peg. Here, you can see the way it's put together. That does not scream quality to me. Honestly, what it reminds me of is the way that the Jazzwares figures are set up. And these things are notorious for having some messed up looking joints. And they fall apart real easily. So when you get this figure, you want to be extra careful with these wrists. If not, they are going to fall apart. The other one isn't doing too bad right now, but this one, oh my god, it is on its way out already. Moving on from that, we got some ab crunch up in here, so that's really good. And we also get some waist movement on top of here as well, so you do have plenty bend. Yeah, you have a lot of bend going forward. Awesome. Going back. Ah, another headless Sora! There we go. Anyway, going back, you can see he can do the Matrix if you want him to. The legs are pretty solid as well. He can do a split. So, man, he is an acrobatic little guy, let me tell you. He can bend his leg forward really well, too. Look, he can freaking punt and oompa loompa if you want him to. However, you do want to be careful because sometimes the legs can pop out. But if you're familiar with the Figma system, this figure does try to replicate a lot of things with Figma. And I do like that a lot, but unfortunately, it's not the best. But it also, what it looks like, it tries to replicate the butterfly effect with the elbow but in the legs, and look at that gap. Sora's all like, what's happening to me? I have a hole. So you do want to be careful with that. Knee bend wise, you don't really have too much to work with. Uh, it's, it looks like a little bit past 90 degrees, so I will give it that. So I do like it. I am pretty happy with it. It's just, uh, I don't know. The way that it looks, eh, it's okay. It could be a crap ton uglier, but I, I, I like it, I guess. It, it works. Now the ankles, I'm actually really cool with. They can be stiff at first from what I've seen from other reviews, so they can move forward and back like that. And the one thing I see returning from other ones is the fact that the ankle bend is like beyond crazy. Like, look at this. You can have them all like, yacha, look at that. I am seeing some crazy shit up in here. But we get no toe bend. So if that's a turn off for you, I'm sorry. But hey, look at the bottom of that boot. Hey, look at that. You have little crowns on this thing? That's actually really cool. Sweet! Again, overall, this is a pretty sweet looking figure. Accessory wise, we actually do get quite a bit. Looking at the head, you can see it's just a standard smile, but we do get an extra head. And if you were paying attention just the slightest bit in this review, you would see this thing comes off super quick. At least that one does. But this one, on the other hand, is looking super, super duper cereal. Honestly, it reminds me more of Cloud, so I'm not even sure how to feel about this one. I kind of wish he would have came with a shouting face or something, but oh well. This is still a cool looking face nevertheless. Now I really want to bring Arts Cloud. They better come out with that before the Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. But no lie, he's looking pretty sexy right there. But anyway, as you can tell, like I'm moving it around. Like, you can see it is not popping off super easily. So you don't have to worry about it falling off all the time. So I do like this. Like I like this a lot. I just wish I had a better looking head. Or should I say better functioning head. Unfortunately, that's all we have for faces. So let's move on to the hands. See, we have the fists and they look pretty great. But we also have these open palms right here and they look pretty sweet. We also have these gripping hands, but what could they be for? And then we have these trigger hands, which again, what are these for? And right now it looks like Sora is trying to be the Fonz. He's all like, Hey, where's that keyblade? Well, it's right over here! But before I get into the keyblades and stuff, I gotta say, these hands are so annoying to get on and off. It's on a mushroom peg system, so it is really tight. So when you're pulling it off, especially with the way these hands, like these wrists are made, it's not a fun time. So the best way to do it, if for some reason you're struggling, here's some advice for you. Uh, put it, like, up as far as you can, and then take the hand you want and then slide it in as much as you can. When you can't move it anymore, then you move it up and then you press it all the way down. So then it shouldn't slide on you too much. And now I just realized I put the wrong hand on the wrong arm. God, that looks silly. Now that we got that fixed, yes, we do come with a keyblade. We still have yet to figure out what this keyblade is going to be called. So I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to call it a uh, Stargazer. No. A Star Blaster. No. Uh, I don't know. Something to do with Star. I don't know. It gives me a little bit of a Star thought. I don't know. Okay, enough of me being stupid. Okay, here's the grip. Here's the handle right here. Holy crap, it's not in focus. That's much better. Okay, so now you can see, you can see the grip right there. 
what you do is you take the one hand, you try to slip his thumb into it, and then you gotta pry the fingers a tiny bit around the rest of the grip. After struggling a little bit, you eventually get it on! Yay, it's finally on. <laughs> From what I hear, the Play Arts Kai's figures, when it comes to getting Keyblades on the hands, it's the biggest pain in the dick. Fortunately, it doesn't seem that much of a pain with this, because these hands are a little bit flexible. And don't get me wrong, this Keyblade does look really great, but the one thing I don't like about it, it doesn't come with the Kingdom Key. Luckily, the SH Figure Arts store is coming out in November, so until that comes out, I'm just gonna use my Play Arts Kingdom Key. However, the grip on this is a little bit bigger, so if you want to use the the gun gripping little thing right here, if it wants to fit in, man, that doesn't look too bad. You can use another gripping hand, but it will stretch it out a bit, and it is stretching this a little bit, so if anything, you may just want to use the other gripping hand, honestly. And what's really nice is because this thing ends up being so stretching, it makes putting on this Keyblade even easier. And ironically, it doesn't make it fall out too easily either, at least for now. Like, this is the other gripping hand, and I've been using this one on it a lot. So, suppose I want to switch hands. You can see how much of an easier time it is for me to get it in and out now. So, if you do have this Keyblade, and let's suppose that the SH Figure Arts one's going to be this thick as well. You will be having an easier time, and as you can tell, it is not falling off anytime soon. And in case you want to see him with it in this hand as well, I could try to squeeze it in. Again, it ends up being just as much of a struggle as trying to get the other Keyblade in the not so messed up hand. But eventually you get the hang of it, so there you go. Now you can see him with the Kingdom Key, and he looks majestic! Anyway, earlier we saw him with the Trigger Fawn's hands, and uh, because we get these little blasters as well, these little pistols. They look pretty freaking sweet. Look at that. Woo! Slipping them in? Uh, honestly, I can't remember. So we're going to find out together. Let's see how easily they go into the hands. Uh, you slip it in like that, right? I'm an adult. I can figure this out. Oh, okay, you see this little thing right here? You try to get that in between the fingers. Okay. Oh! That works really well. I like that a lot. Man, look at Sora looking like a thug with this thing. But you know what looks even better? When he's dual wielding. Oh god, this is going to be a struggle to get in. There we go. Look at Sora. Look at him looking like a badass. Whoa! Now before Sora gets all trigger happy, let's try to show off one more thing that he comes with. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is his stand. Now, no lie, I'm honestly very disappointed with the stand. Like, I mean, the base looks really cool, don't get me wrong. Kingdom Hearts is sweet. However, it, it, it doesn't function very well. Here, if you want this thing to move, if you want this thing to bend, you have to unscrew these a little bit so then to budge. And they're on a ratchet situation, so you're not going to get the perfect pose. So they tried, but they failed. So I hope they do better with future stands. Again, it looks sweet, but it's just a shame that I can't really use it all that well. Now it's time for scaling. Now, first I'm going to compare it with the regular Play Arts Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, personally, I do think it is a little bit unfair to compare these two, because not a lot of people actually have these figures. So, I just want to let you guys know, for those who do have them, you can see how not so well they scale with each other. So, I'm sorry about that. But I do have Figma and SH Figure Arts to compare him to, so that's going to be more fair for you. So first, I want to compare him to the Figma Yugi, and as you can see, they are somewhat in a same scale-esque. It's that hair, man, let me tell you. But compared to other Figmas, I can tell you they do scale with each other extremely well. And for SH Figure Arts, I'm going to have Naruto represent. Okay, let's get the Keyblade out of the way. But as you can tell, they do stack up next to each other decently well. So overall, what are my thoughts on this figure? Overall, this is an, an absolutely amazing figure. It does have its problems, it really does. But when it comes to the six inch line, as of now, this is one of the best Sora figures out there. But we are getting an SH figure at Sora as well. So when that does come out, I will be doing a review on that and I will be comparing it next to the Bring Art Sora. And they are coming out with more Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts figures, like we're getting the Toy Story line of Donald, Goofy, and Sora, so they are going to look pretty fantastic as well. 
However, I'm probably not going to get those, so don't look forward to me reviewing them. However, you gotta check out my boy Ed DeWiz. You can check out a card right here. He's done a review on this figure. He's compared it with the Play Arts Kai. And he's so good to be getting the rest of the Bring Arts line. So if you want to check out those kind of reviews, he is my personal friend and I do recommend his channel. And that's it for my review. So if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's my social media. And if you like figures, I recommend checking out my Instagram because you will absolutely love that. And that's all I got pretty much to say for this video, so I guess I will see y'all in the next one.